So here we have my version of what some would call a wicket drill. Um, we kind of call it just the sticks here. Um, this is for a middle distance slash distance track athlete. So it may be set up a little different than a sprinter might do it. Um, and we have three different kind of phases here that I'll walk you through. This first phase with the cones um, is technically an acceleration zone. I call it more the calibration zone. Um, and what we're doing, the, the point of having the cones instead of the stick is there's nothing in the middle of the track impeding them. Um, they can focus on just calibrating to the proper stride length and the speed that they need to be at to hit that stride length. And the goal is to get the foot down halfway between the cones. So our first cones are three feet, nine inches apart. Um, just through experience, I've learned that's kind of the sweet spot for the first step of a middle distance distance runner. Um, and then it goes up three inch increments from there. So four feet, four, three, et cetera. Um, and it can be as long as we want to make it um, to get up to the proper stride length that we're working on <coughs> for the day. So right now it's in our season, this is the first or second time we're doing this. So it's a shorter calibration zone. Um, it's just working on skill, not max speed, right? Um, <coughs> So we, we've calibrated to the stride length. We come to the sticks now where we do have a barrier in the middle. We don't want to hit them, but hopefully if we're doing things right, we're getting our foot down halfway between the sticks again. Um, and the big cue here when we hit this part is we want proper form, right? But the biggest thing is I want force into the ground. That is a, a big thing that mid-distance distance runners, especially at the younger um, high school level, they don't understand, you know, maybe they've been taught that they want to look like they're floating across the ground instead of putting force into it. So it's force, force, force. That's the one cue I give every single athlete right before we're doing this, every time we do it. Um, and as we go through, as I'm watching individuals, I can cue them individually. Sometimes it's uh, just stand up tall. Sometimes I want the knee to come up a little bit. So I just tell them that, you know, if their knee's higher, gra the gravitational force is going to be more. They can put more force into the ground. Um, if their backside mechanics are, are taken away from their front side a little bit, then it's uh, we're stepping over tall grass. You know, sometimes that tall grass just happens to be on fire if I want their um, stride rate to increase a little bit. Um, but force, 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 that's it. Um, and you may notice uh, lane three distance is a little longer than lane four. So lane three, we're gonna use for either A, just our naturally taller athletes uh, with just a longer stride length or B, the more experienced, faster athletes because they can come in a little faster. They're, obviously their stride length will be a little longer. Um, and then lane four is the opposite. Um, so A, either they're just naturally shorter, is probably more the ninth, 10th grade athlete, um, or just the less developed in the skill. So they need to take it a little slower to get things right. And I do preach that. This is not a max velocity drill yet, um, eventually, four or six weeks down the line, it could become that, um, but it's all about form and force into the ground, right? We need to get that right, and then over time, we can spread the sticks out, get the stride length more, build the speed up a little more, then we're running properly with proper speed. Um, and that, that's really the entire goal of this. Now, the, the, the third section here after the sticks is just just track for 20 meters to cones. <clears throat> um, and I tell them, you know, after the sticks, I want them to run as fast as possible, but while keeping that same proper form. <clears throat> and that's, that's the biggest cue there. They need to keep that proper form because, you know, when this isn't a max speed thing yet, they're not gonna be coming through the cones at max, or, or the sticks at max velocity. Um, so I don't want them to then re-accelerate after the sticks um, to get to the cones as fast as possible because if they're going to do that, their center of mass is gonna come off. They're, they're gonna have a lean, um, a forward lean and their form obviously isn't going to be what it needs to be. 
It's to get to the cones as fast as possible while using proper form, right? So proper technique, proper form at proper speed is what this is all about. Um, and that is my version of the wicket or the sticks drill for a middle distance distance track athlete.